So. <coughs> What's this video? Calipers and brake pads. Okay. What is up, YouTube? Marty here. Just coming at you guys today with a little video. I've got my 94 Power Stroke. Uh, going to be doing the front brakes. I'm actually going to do the caliper while I'm in here. And that's the main reason why I'm doing it, actually. It's because when I was working on the other side, like last week, I broke the bleeder. Um, so I just replaced the caliper, so I'm going to do this side as well. And I was going to save the pads um, for like a date down the line. Just kind of let these ones wear out. Just because they are still actually pretty good. But I should, decided not to just because I didn't know how old they were. So... I did the rears, those are all good, now I'm going to do the fronts. Um, yeah, basically, super simple, you got to start by taking off your uh, brake hose here, which I already did because I actually replaced that as well since I was in here. So, it's just going to be one banjo bolt right on the back, you want to come look, be right on the back of the caliper here. That was a uh, 9 16 um, probably... Uh, three A's, get it in there, it's super simple. Uh, take that, hang it up high, and then you've got these two pins, top and bottom, that are actually holding your uh, caliper to the bracket, so there's no other bolts. Basically, just gotta pound these out. Start by just doing that, getting them flush. Okay, and then grab something. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. Um, and then just whoop, tap it the rest of the way out here. It's probably a good idea to completely remove the bottom one first, because if you do the top one, then the top of the caliper is gonna fall. So you don't want it to fall and smash your toe. So take the bottom one out all the way first. And then, uh, you can kind of just put your knee up against the top, up against the caliper, and then pound that top one out. Okay, that's what those pins look like. They are, uh, there is a specific way to put these in, so I'll show you that in a little bit. And then from here, basically you just gotta pull it off. Whew, or not. Oh. On the back side here, there's this little, um, I don't know, just a little nook. Come take a look, with you? So there's this little guy here. Perfect spot to take, say, a nice big screwdriver and just kind of pry it. And then that'll help take some pressure. As you can see, it's kind of uh, pushing your pistons out. And then it's good enough, boom. Just come right up. Ouch. So these are actually a lot worse than I thought they were. When I had checked them last, they weren't this good. So it's actually probably a good idea that I'm doing this. <clears throat> this is probably partially due to the fact that my the rear end was taking like no grunt of the work. So the other side, however, was actually pretty decent. The other side in the front, we still have some left, but it's a good thing I'm changing them. So I got the new caliper, um, I'm going to take and load up new pads. These are performance friction pads, part number on those guys are 0450.20, performance friction, carbon metallic, it's a semi-metallic pad. These guys just kind of slip down here and then you push them backwards. Oh, or side specific. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So, if you look here, there is like these little slots. This one is a heck of a lot bigger than that side. I'm not really sure exactly which side is which at this point. This side is up 
because this is the bleeder. So this would be the downside. So that's where the smaller one goes. Anyway, slip it down and then put it right in there. Super simple once you're actually taking a look at it. And now this one's just the opposite, just like so. Okay, so we got it flipped over. Now you're gonna take your little tensioner spring here and we're gonna, we gotta put it on the back side. So it is kind of oriented. You got these dipping down like so. Those have to be pointed down towards the caliper. And then there's these little hooks on either side here. And then one over here as well. That's where the ends have to go. So just start by putting one end in. And then you're just gonna take and kind of press this one down and around and clip it right in. All right guys, so we got the pads all mounted up in the uh, caliper. Now we gotta mount the caliper back on the um, bracket itself. I'm just gonna take, spray a little brake cleaner. Um, kinda get things cleaned up. Okay. Megan loves the smell. <laughs> Alright, so now just cut, you might have to kind of hold them and just put them right back on the top, just like so. And now back to these little pins that I was uh, told you the orientation is specific. So you got these little pins here up on top. Um, those are going to be pointed on the top, they'll be pointed up. On the bottom, they'll be pointed down. Um, that's basically going to just ride against your bracket itself so they don't come out. So just get the one started and then we'll get the bottom one started as well. So remember those guys go down. Okay, this one since it's there, just gonna start pounding it in. Where'd the hammer go? Your brother is No. Nope. <laughs> So these guys, you pretty much go in just as far enough to uh, where it'll start, it'll get ready to hit those little stops, okay? And that's plenty. And then same thing up here. Good. Want to take a look on the top? Oh, there we go. Good. See the little stops? Good to go. You're going to take and attach your hose to the caliper. Okay, so basically, just going to take this down. You got your uh, banjo bolt here, and then your two crush washers. Okay, Ooh, she's pissing already. Let's get her going. So, how this one? Spun like something like so, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay. So you want the one crush washer on top of the banjo bolt, and then that's gonna go through just like so, and then the other crush washer is gonna go on bottom. Okay, and then that is gonna then screw into the top of your caliper. Come on now. All right, so taking your uh, 9 16 socket. Oh, jeez, that was loud. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten your hose. Jeez. <laughs> and you're done. Just kidding, guys. You have to do the proper crush on your crush washers. Um, they use copper for a reason because it makes a great gasket and it's uh, tolerable to heat. So, um, good rule of thumb that I've been taught is basically you're going to tighten it pretty much as tight as you can before you feel like it's going to snap and then you back it off a good amount and then you tighten it back up pretty much as much as you think it can go and then you back it off and you do that probably about four or five times. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, 
I'm gonna back it off. Just back it off a little. And then just go right into the next one. Okay. Back it off. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> and then tighten it. And if you pay close enough attention, you can actually see the washers shrinking. They're actually crushing, hence the name. Okay. And that's exactly what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to get smaller just because they're acting as a gasket so no brake fluid or air can get in or out. Honestly, guys, I think I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I think that was four of them. That's probably pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is just gravity bleed until we get the other side taken care of. I'm going to do a gravity bleed, let the um, new caliper fill up with brake fluid, and, and then eventually do a, like a regular compression bleed. So I'm just gonna pop this guy. Hopefully this little okay. bust it wide open. Should be good. Should start flowing really nice. Don't forget to uh, open up your master cylinder and then add brake fluid occasionally as it starts filling up your caliper. All right, guys. That is about it for this one. Hopefully this helped you out in some way. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.